Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're doing number 30 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a nice problem involving graphing a linear equation and working with slope and the y-intercept. A great one to do. So we'll start by reading it over, working through some of that math on number 30. All right, as we read, we're going to identify core math concepts, see if we can clarify them, and see how that helps us answer the question. Here we go. For number 30, it says, on a coordinate plane, the graph of the function y is equal to mx plus b has a positive y-intercept and a negative x-intercept. Which of the following statements must be true? And then we have some options here. Now this m in our linear function here, this is actually called slope y-intercept form. This, this m right here represents the slope of this graph. And this b right here, this represents the y-intercept when x is 0. So this m is the slope. Let me write that down. m is equal to the slope. And we thought of that before in other videos as rise over run. And b is the y-intercept. Now, now, maybe it'd be helpful to, to graph this. Real quick, just do a quick sketch. I have my x-axis, the horizontal. y-axis, the vertical. We think of our x's as the input and our y's as our output and each one of these are number lines to the right of the center here which is 0 0 all these values of x are positive so you got some positive values of x here and then on the other side of this one right here if these are positive values of x these ones right here would be negative values of x and below the line these would be negative values of y now the problem says that this is, a, this is going to be in this form right here, so you have to say that's a linear equation. It's going to be some sort of line. It's going to look like a line, okay? And it says that the y-intercept is positive. So let's just pick a y-intercept right now. Remember, the y-intercept is when x is 0, and this is the point that the, the graph crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to choose, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to choose 0, 4. So when x is 0, the y-intercept is 4, it's positive, and this is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. This is our y-intercept. And it says we have a negative x-intercept, so let's do a negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, let's do 4 again over here. So I moved over 4 in the negative direction on x, so the coordinate would be negative 4, 0. The negative intercept, this is the value um, when x is this value, y is uh, 0. And this is, this is negative, right? So right now we have the y-intercept, which is positive, and the x-intercept, which is negative. And with these two points, we can create a line. The line would look something like this. You'll notice that the line is going from, as we read it, from left to right. It's going from low to high. Whenever you see a graph, and it's as it's moving from left to right, it's going from low to high. This section of the graph is positive. It's got a positive slope. So if we went back to our idea of slope again, we say m here is equal to slope, which is equal to rise over run. And this would be going up. We'd be rising and running, and both of those would be positive. This would be a positive over a positive. The slope would be positive. And if you can just remember, that if you just do a quick sketch and you see the graph of your quick sketch going from low to high and that's moving in that direction, then you can always tell yourself, hey, M has got to be a positive slope. So reading over these options for A, B, C, and D, D and C say that M is less than zero. That means it's going to be negative. So for that reason, we could cross out D and C because they say that the slope here is going to be negative. Now let's go to the B part. Is B greater than zero, meaning it is it positive or is B negative? Now they tell us in the problem here, the y-intercept is positive. They're telling us that B here is going to be a positive value on the y-axis, which means B has got to be positive because the y-intercept is the value of B. So for that reason here, it's not B, it's got to be A. A has got a positive slope and it's got a y-intercept that is also positive. Team, there's lots of ways to do this problem, but I think the easiest way is on the day of the test, if you had something like this, create your coordinate grid, plot the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Look at the graph. 
If it's going from low to high, it's got a positive slope. If they tell you that the y-intercept is positive, then b, which is the value of the y-coordinate, is positive. All right? Okay, team, the answer here is a. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have a great day. Take care. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Happy